Hey guys, my name is Game7Plays, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dead Rising 3 for PC. The first thing you have to do is download the full game. It's 36 GB big, um, so it's going to take a while. It took me 5 hours to download the whole game. Um, but yeah, you can get it either way from Skid Row Crack, it's the Apocalypse Edition, or you can get it from Skid Row Games, which is also the Apocalypse Edition. Um, I would recommend getting it from Fire Drive because then you can get your complete um, internet speed. Um, after you've downloaded the game, it should look something like this. After you have extracted it. That's what it looks like. And that's all you need. After you've extracted it, it's about 35 RAS. You copy and paste the crack. You can get the crack from both sides once again, either from Redeem or from Encrypt, but they're both the same. So you go to Downloads, it's a one WAR file. Then you copy those, overwrite, and there you go. And then you can immediately play the game. I would show you how it looks like, but I can barely have the game play in um, full screen without recording, so I'm just going to show you some footage I have recorded from my iPhone in case you really want to know if it works. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, especially to Sims 4, I saw there were a lot of questions, write them below in the comments, and I'll see you next time with um, the Rise of Empire in October. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm out. So guys, it's me again, and I'm just going to have a little commentary over this. Um, this is the opening sequence, which you get as soon as you start the game. You can see me holding my iPhone pretty nice on my really dirty <laughs> um, display. It's in German because it's a multi-language pack, which means depending on what kind of um, language you have. My PC is, for example, my Windows is in English, but I still got the German game. It automatically reads out your data and sees what kind of language you speak. Um, this is actually not the most important part, so I'm just going to skip over this and make this a little quick. And um, the graphics are very nice, even though I've been playing on the lowest settings available. Um, I have high HD resolution, but I've got VZing off, and I've got like you can choose what kind of. Um, textures the zombies have, from um, very low to very high, um, and all this kind of stuff. And I have everything on low, except the resolution, and you can see that's still like, kind of bugging sometimes, and just lagging really big. I'm not moving my mouse. I know it looks like it, but I'm not. It's just sitting there because I'm holding my phone with both of my hands. Um, you can see that the textures are very bad and they keep loading, but when you play it's not like this. Um, even though it's on the lowest settings, it's just, it's really nice. Um, like, it's smooth. It requires 6 GB of RAM on minimum settings, and I have 4 GB of RAM, and so I didn't meet any of the requirements except the um, OS system, audio, and hard drive free space, <laughs> so yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised it actually worked and opened up. It took me like five minutes at the menu to load the game, so <laughs> I'm actually really glad it kind of worked out. Um, I'm just going to skip the sequence. Wait. Okay, this is the important part because this is where it starts when you, when you can move. As you can see, this is me moving. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And it's working really smooth, and that's how it is, so 